This is why I train in martial arts. This was over some cold chicken. The couple attacked this lady and her daughter over some cold chicken and not enough fries. Now, the thing that she did wrong, the lady that's got the two black eyes, what she did wrong is that she went outside of her restaurant and started confronting people who were already being violent. You cannot confront people who are already showing violence, who are violent, when you don't have a weapon of any kind and you also don't have any sort of training in a martial art or combat sport. I don't even think you need to be confronting people if you don't, if you've just had, you know, regular self-defense training, because that's not self-defense. If you want to go out and possibly deal with people you have to fight, but you need to know how to fight. Mike, believe it or not, some of them are still struggling with the words to describe this attack. And when you leave veteran lawmen speechless, you may have struck a new low. We're going to take a look at that video in just a second. This all started at the Quick Chick restaurant a takeout stand next to US-1. Owner Jeanette Norris tells me that it started when a couple ordered two meals. They complained the chicken was cold and they didn't get enough fries. The owner checked the food and after more discussion, the woman attacks the owner and slaps and punches her in the face. The owner's 15-year-old daughter comes out of the truck nearby, and that's when the man punches the girl in the face, knocks her, literally knocks her off her feet. The couple drives away as the two customers, two other customers have arrived, and police call this assault completely unprovoked. Now you see this thing that she did, she went like this, hitting. That's no skill. That's somebody that doesn't even know how to throw a punch. So that was an attack with no skill. The big man, he hit the girl with a with an overhand right that if she knew any, if she had at least a, I would even say if she had a stripe on a white belt, she would have known to enough to go to the outside, block slash parry, and could have counter hit that guy. Or block slash parry, counter hit, throw. I bet you he doesn't know how to fall. Come on. They got seriously hurt by low-level, unskilled attacks. Now I've been working here for, what, 41 years? Been chief right at 30. To be honest, I ain't never seen nothing like this. Had not never heard of nothing like this. Oh, come on. I know you've seen worse than that if you're in law enforcement. I've seen worse than that, and I'm a civilian. suffered a broken nose. The daughter suffered bruises and a concussion. Jeanette Norris's broken nose tells only part of the story. She says two customers at her quick chick stand Thursday complained their food was cold. After a few minutes back and forth, Jeanette says she refunded their money, but... She went berserk. She just lost it. Him and her both started cussing and beating on the window. Norris came outside to tell them police were on the way when the woman started punching and slapping her in the face. You do not go outside to confront people who are already being violent if you don't have a weapon and you don't know how to fight. And I don't care how tough you think you are or how confident you feel in yourself, if you have not had training in a martial art or a combat sport, you do not know how to fight. Even if you've taken a self-defense class, that is self-defense. That is for someone's coming at you, you want to do damage, and then escape. If you have to deal with people that you're trying to control calm, you need to be trained to do that. And she clearly is not. What Jeanette couldn't see as she staggered back inside was her daughter getting out of the truck to help. One of my employees started shouting. Now, I don't mean to tell people not to help your mama. But um, if you don't have any training, you can't help your mama. You're just going to get beat up, too, especially if you're not a man. I'm sorry. A 15-year-old girl against probably a 30-something-year-old man who might weigh over 300 pounds, she's, you're going to need some type of training to handle something like that. Why do you think you can handle something like that? And it's not that I don't, it's not that I don't feel sorry for this mom and daughter, I do feel sorry for them. But you cannot think that you are going to be able to handle violent people. 
they have more violence experience than you do. I will guarantee it. I, they, these two could be closet axe murderers, could have, you know, like they used to say, cats on the clothesline in the basement or something like that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I doubt that these two have violence experience. Because if they had any violence experience, somebody would have went outside at least with a stick or a frying pan with some grease in it or something like that. Now I know I'm getting country talking about the grease and the frying pan and everything. But you went out with there with some grits, something. Or you would have had a dog, something. Or you would have went out there in big numbers. Or you wouldn't have went out there at all. You already called the cops. You already called the cops and you want them to get arrested? Keep them talking and yammering at the window so that when the cops get there, the cops see them beating on the window and being aggressive. He's got her. He's got her. And that's when I found out that he had hit her. Who does that to a child? He hit her with an overhand right. We train that as reverse punch. That is, they, they got beat with simple, easy techniques that one or two sessions with me would get them to handle. I would say, I would stretch it out. Looking at these two, I would say they need a year with me because they don't seem like they're really got real fight grit. So even though they would know what to do at like white stripe, they still would need time to just to get more physically confident in it. Who turns around and hits her like he would a grown man. He needs putting up under the jail. Even veteran officers like Baxley's police chief say they've never seen an unprovoked attack like this. Camera. I still don't. I said this before. I still don't believe that. Come on, man. You're a cop. I know you've seen some stuff. I'm sorry. I don't believe that. Surveillance footage that we got that we put out tells it all. I'm I mean, not excusing. Brutality. The yes, suspects brutality. in the case, Eric and Latasha Smith, face several felony warrants. Chief Godfrey says they've been flooded by tips from WTOC viewers who recognize the two, something that makes the Norrises grateful. Now you hear the old thing, what, the people don't want to get involved? They got involved. If you want to get involved, you want to get involved? Why don't you take a martial arts class? Get involved with learning how to defend yourself first. My thing blends Taekwondo with Judo. Taekwondo is the main thing. Judo is secondary. Little tiny bit of boxing because I'm not that great of a boxer. Can you show concepts thrown in there as you advance? That's more than enough. And I do that and it'll cost you her and that young lady $50 a month tops if they went to class once a week. They went to class twice a week, $100. I bet you there's somebody down there wherever they live that's doing something just like I'm doing, but they don't think they need to go take class. If you're near me and you want to go confront people who will beat you up over chicken, then you know what you need to do. Between Facebook and social media yeah. and you guys at WTOC is amazing, the responses we've had from people. I tell you what's amazing. Mike, believe it or not, some of them. It's amazing that people don't think they need to learn how to protect themselves. It's amazing that people with no violence experience, no street time cred or whatever you want to call it. I like to call it violence experience. Think they can go and lecture and wave their finger at people who are violent. And this has nothing to do with gender because there are men to do this too. There are men, women, old, young, black, white, purple, brown, whatever. All of you, you need to take a martial arts class if you're going to be going out there and confronting these violent people. Call 301-894-6616. You want to find out more? Go to CECILRYU.org, CCBU.org. Peace.